G'day, I'm Alistair Christie for LearnDelphi.tv and this is our blog post number 15 I think. So I've got a, a bunch of things I want to mention. Uh, the first of which is that um, I've just released uh, a new video, a um, new commercial video. It's um, building dataware applications using the VCL. Uh, it's about an hour and three quarters long and we cover uh, all the dataware controls. So, uh, so it's about 14 of them um, plus TData source and um, T data module. So that's pretty good. So that's available for sale on learndelphi.tv along with all my other videos. It's um, my seventh commercial one. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, so other sort of, I suppose, news, uh, and uh, sad news, unfortunately, uh, uh, Zarko Gadget, whose name I've probably just murdered, um, who does the uh, Delphi posts on about.com. Uh, he's no longer doing that, which is a bit of a shame uh, because it's a bit of an institution. He's been doing that for years and years and years. I certainly learned lots of um, stuff from that. Of, uh, from, yeah, lots and lots of stuff. Um, it'll still, all the, all the posts will still be available, but uh, he's no longer doing those. So um, whether someone else is going to take over from that, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, it's, it's kind of a, the end of an era. But um, Zarko's still doing stuff in Delphi, so hopefully he'll still be um, doing posts somewhere and hopefully they'll get onto Delphi feeds, so easy to find. So, uh, some older news, Marco Kentu's now working for Embarcadero. Um, I forget his exact role, but I think it's probably a positive sign, but I think the possibly a, a, a negative for that is that we might not see any more Delphi books, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, his last one's on Delphi XE, and apparently he's got some stuff written for Fire Monkey, which we may see published, but um, we shall see. Um, I so I, I upgraded um, so I do my screen recordings in Camtasia, uh, and I recently upgraded to version eight, and that all went quite well. Um, some of the projects are getting quite large. Um, the, the 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 project files are stored as XML. And my latest one is over 100,000 lines of X, 116,000 lines of XML or something like that in the, in the thing. And the reason I know this is because um, it is broken. Um, on my so I have I, I bought myself a laptop for doing these uh, screen recordings, um, and uh, among other things, of course, but um, primarily for that. And the my last few projects, including my latest one, will no longer open on that machine. Smaller projects open fine, but uh, I have to open my the, the larger projects on my older machine, which is a, a 3 gigahertz Core 2 Duo uh, as as compared to the you know Core i7 laptop, which is many times faster. But uh, yeah, not much I can do about that at this stage. I've, I've, I've um, contacted uh, the um, support at TechSmith who do the Camtasia. And uh, version 8 is very nice, I quite like it. It's a big improvement on 7, uh, giving you lots more editing capabilities. Uh, previously I was um, doing the primary edit in Camtasia and then rendering a video and then reloading it in PowerDirector to add all the titles and things, but I'm now doing all the titles um, in uh, Camtasia, which saves quite a bit of time. So that's pretty cool. Um, lastly, it's uh, my sort of random topics. On, vaguely related to Delphi. So I actually, um, in terms of, um, I'd, I'd, I'd certainly recommend uh, Camtasia if, if you're uh, developing software and writing manuals, um, it's sometimes not the easiest way of, of doing it. You might be better off um, doing screen recordings, checking them on YouTube, YouTube or um, something like that, and then uh, making those available to your users. And certainly uh, it's a way, way better way of showing off your um, applications than um, sort of static screenshots and things like that. So. Um, yeah, just something, something to think about. Um, finally, uh, Nico just had a post uh, where he sh sort of points out the uh, cluster map for um, Spring for D, or Spring for Delphi, which is the uh, Spring framework for, for Delphi, which, are, which you don't need to know about, but um, it was just uh, indicating the uh, sort of distribution, worldwide distribution of Delphi use, um, and Delphi is, is quite the... the, the Used all over the world. Um, so I've recorded a, a, a quick video, uh, of course with Camtasia, um, showing the distribution uh, for on Lindelf TV, the, the Google Analytics. 
So um, I'll play that for you now. Uh, I'm Alistair Christie for LearnDevil.tv. So one of uh, Nick Hodges' um, posts uh, pointed out this map, which is uh, Spring for Delphi, um, which is a cluster map showing the uh, various visitors from the various countries. And we can see there's quite uh, an even spread. So uh, quite cool. Um, so I thought I'd just share uh, the um, visitors from LearnDelphi.tv. Uh, so as you can see, this is sort of the last last few months from the 1st of October to today. And we see that um, we got Germany rates quite highly, as does the US, um, Algeria, Brazil, Russia, and Indonesia. And in fact, um, we see that in terms of English-speaking countries, I mean, my I record all my videos in English, of course. Um, so United States, um, United Kingdom, and Australia, and Canada. So that's four. Uh, sort of where English is the primary language. There might be actually others there. I'm not sure, but um, and we can also break it down by city, which which looks quite interesting. So, um, yeah, lots lots of uh, visitors from from various cities, and um, yeah, and these are the top ones. And London's the first English speaking one, which is quite quite interesting. Um, so that's basically all I wanted to share there.